Let's go ahead and jump into uh, season six, episode six of It's Always Sunny in Philly, man. Let's go. Dave, what are you doing? I got a tickle, a really bad one. Oh shit, are you getting sick? If you're getting sick, stay away from us. Josh Groban, Artemis and I got backstage passes to his concert in the park tomorrow. We love Charles Groden. That dude is hysterical. I love that guy. Charles Groden is a bitter old man with a giant head. Call Charles Groden a bitter old man one more time. And oh, see shit. what happens. See what happens. All right. All right. Don't, don't come near me. You don't make right, me sick. All right, don't touch me. They're not terrorists. They're just Muslims. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna hang up. Okay, hang it up. There's another little extra thing. Another another extra layer on uh, on Charlie's mom, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. The woman who brought you into the world and raised you needs you, and you're gonna ignore her? I don't blame you, man. I'm very much looking forward to not taking care of anyone when I'm older. Oh, I'll get Deandra to take care of me. She'll take care oh, of me. Dee's not gonna take care of you. You just chased her out of here with a pool cube because she had a little cough. Oh, well, that is a serious thing. Okay, I'll let him know. Uh, Mac, your mom burned her house down? Did she fall asleep with a cigarette in her mouth or something? It's probably how she died. No, I don't think she's dead though. She fell asleep with a lit cigarette in her mouth and burned the entire house down, but the good news is she's fine. Where is she going to be staying? I'll stay in a shelter. Hey, there's an idea, shelter. Absolutely not. Do you have any idea what happens in those places, dude? Why don't I just rape her myself? <laughs> That's not what happens there, I don't think so. Maybe. This dog is indestructible, dude. The Jack Bauer of dogs, huh? He's a survivor. He would disappear for months, but he would always come home. Looks like his eye is falling out. Yeah, what you do is you just pop it back in with your knuckle. I'll show you how to do it. No, yeah, it's really I, easy. Like a dislocated joint. <laughs> back in, Dennis. Check it out. Yeah, I don't care. I have an idea that's going to solve all of our problems here. I do. I think your moms are going to live together. Uncle Jack moved out of your mom's house, so she's lonely. She's got no one to talk to. Boom. This is Mac. Your mom together could be the perfect situation. A couple of old ladies getting together, chasing men, eating cheesecake. My mom's going to be a tough sell, man. Uh -huh. I'll talk her into it. Oh, it popped back out. I'm a Grobenite. Grobenites don't miss shows. Grobenites? Josh Groban comes to town and we consider it a call to action. What you're saying is very dork. I want to make you well. I got your coffee. I got you some Mexican peanuts. So, uh, what's your angle? What are you doing? Deandra, I'm going to take care of you now, but when I'm old and sick, you have to take care of me. What? I love the N on the wall there, man. <laughs> Shout out to my countdown people, man. It's like an Easter egg, man. Anything you need, I will do it. You uh, just make believe I'm your slave. Okay. I'm gonna be as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> you just rest, honey. The sit down of all sit downs. Okay. All right. <laughs> she smells. I know she smells. And okay, she you can't talk oh. about my mom like that. I smell like shit. Okay, mom, don't put yourself down. Okay, we talk <laughs> about knows. What better way to kick off this new relationship than with a new fragrance? Stop talking to me like I'm an asshole. What if you were to switch to some sort of smokeless tobacco alternative? Oh. <sighs> I know that grunt. She's open to it. Okay. So what do we say? We do a little bit of a trial run tonight. Uh, that means absolutely. Oh, what? no dogs. Charlie, tell them. I don't want a dog to eat my face, Charlie. Ooh. Very whitey white. Uh, you're not ragging it, are you? What? You still get periods? What are you doing? Stop asking me that. What? Gross. Come on. Uh, That's Poppins? Oh, yeah. He's still alive? Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured he could keep you company while you're sick. Is it, uh, uh oh, is he dying? No, 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 he's fine. Uh, I'm gonna finish this up in my bedroom. Frank, why don't you make me another juice? D is surprisingly okay with the dog, huh? I'm trying to score brownie points with your sister. I mean, I need somebody to take care of me when I'm old and sick. Just check yourself into a nursing home, Frank. You have the money. As soon as you drop the soap, they rip your butt. What? That's what happens. Mac told me. It's not jail, man. It's a prison. Yeah. That's not what happens in nursing homes, I don't think. I think nursing homes is where mobsters meet to like plan stuff, you know, and avoid, you know, being listen listened in on by the FBI and stuff, you know. That's what nursing homes are for. Not fucking rape, man, but maybe. I support your plan, Frank, insofar as it ensures that I won't have to take care of you when you get older. She doesn't need you here. You need to thrust her into a hostile environment so that she needs you to protect her. I should dump her under the bridge. Dennis is a master manipulator, man. If this is going to work, then she's going to need to feel a little bit more than just a tickle in her throat. So if she's not feeling sick, well... You're good. Yeah, well, I'm going to fix her, Frank. You're that's good. What, that's what I do. Dennis. He has a system. We should hang out system. more together. Yeah, stop trying to bond with me. They're not even talking to each other. Mm. My mom's not very verbal. Yeah, she's very grunty. Very coffee. The funniest thing happened today when I was doing no, the laundry. No, not me. You got to talk to her. Go gossip. 
About what? I don't go to the supermarket. The shopping carts are dangerous. Shopping carts are not dangerous, Mom. There's nothing dangerous about a shopping cart! I'm hot. My mom's hot. Okay, I'm you know hot what? Too. I gotta be honest, I'm hot as well. The fan is broken and it hasn't worked for years. My mom's very good with her hands. Maybe she could fix it. Mom was the manager at Jiffy Loop for many years. But she started at the bottom, worked her way to the tippy top. All right, well, there's only three people working at Jiffy Loops. So it's not really a high climb. Yeah. Mm. What was that? It means not right now, but there's a possibility that I could get to it tomorrow because she thrives on sunlight. She seems like she's never been in sunlight. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh. God. Dude, I feel bad for Charlie's mom. This lady has to go, man. Why are they forcing her on her, man? Why are they forcing this on her? It's so unfair. Imagine being forced to live with someone like that, man. Ugh. Maybe I can get you like a, like a beer bottle. Would that be okay? An okay. empty beer bottle to spit in? Thank you for being a friend. You're a her friend. Come come and on. Don't look at me. And all you see. You will see the thing is get from me. From me. Look at her! Mm. <laughs> I mean, how long do I have to do this for? What do you mean? We've been here for like an hour, Frank. You're the worst dad. <laughs> Robin! I've definitely woken up like that before. <laughs> Gasping for air, man. <laughs> okay, honey, don't get up. Stay right where you are. Go don't go shop. by the knives. Ooh, she's gonna hit the skateboard. Ooh. Wow, did you see that? Yeah. It's like Mr. Magoo. Just Magoo dead. never made that mistake. He's dead, Mom. Good night, honey. Good night, Mac. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, this is OCD, eh? Wow. There's so much going on with this lady, man. So much. I didn't even know this was part of her thing, man. This sucks, man. This is just your mind, just kind of. This is your mind torturing you, man. Mrs. Kelly? Yes? Why are you doing everything in threes? Oh, so Charlie doesn't die. What? Is she waking up my mom? No! No! No, no. mom! My mom does not like to be woken up, Mrs. Kelly! One more. One, two, three. Get out of here! God damn it! Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> what are you doing? Wow. Huh? Oh, Charlie. Charlie has inherited it, She's been doing it. I'm still alive. <laughs> this one look off to you. One, two, three. One. No, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. So we got some bagels and coffee. One, two, three, one, what two, three. What do you three. think that, that that's accomplishing? No, oh, Mrs. Kelly doesn't like the smoke. Oh, the ceiling fan is going to push all the smoke outside the windows. See, I told you, dude. My mom is very handy. The Muslims are back. Where do you think they're coming and going from? Dude, Charlie's... Charlie's mom also has a, this creepy side to her. Where, like, like, like just there when she, when she said, where do you think they're coming and going from? She said it with such, that was so creepy the way she said it, like. Where do you think they're coming and going from? That legitimately bothers her, man. <laughs> it's weird. You know, she's super intense with that kind of stuff, man. It's probably just racist, you know. I think she just is. But that's weird as fuck. She just got like super serious. We don't see her like that often. You know? She gets super serious about weird shit, man. So Charlie doesn't die. That was super serious and creepy the way she said it. And where, you know, where do you think they're coming and going from? That was super serious and creepy too. You know, like something just comes alive inside her where you're like, oh my God, she can snap. She's capable of snapping and doing some crazy shit, man. Wow. That contrast, man. She can be super sweet, adorable, almost like a Disney kind of, you know, jovial, just jumping around, skipping around, all jovial and stuff. And then she can go, where do you think they're coming and going from? Wow. I wish they'd all go back to the desert. Yeah. So it does wow. seem like they're bonding. <laughs> it's like a racist conversation, but. Yeah. At least they're bonding. <laughs> Quit cleaning my damn tools and sit your ass down. We might want to even consider bringing Poppins back into this mix. No. Like it? Yes, I do. Please don't hit me. I have sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. She also sounds like an old school. Like, like, like someone from an old school black and white movie would sound. How people spoke back in the day. In American films and stuff, yeah? When the English was just different. The accents were different. It was almost like medieval. Almost. Almost medieval sounding in terms of the accent. You know, I have very sensitive skin. Wow, it's so she's so interesting. 
Charlie's mom is so interesting, man. There's so much going on there. And it's so easy to ignore, but this, she's just... There's a lot there, man. Yeah, you're all tied up. It's for your own safety. Yeah, you took a digger down the stairs. Yeah, big time. What? You guys untie me right now. Frank took really good care of you, so you're going to have to take care of him. Frank went from trying to take care of D to trying to, like, threaten her into, you better fucking take care of me when I'm older. You know, he started out well, but then Dennis came into the picture and it went from helping to threatening. <laughs> the Dennis effect, man. What is going on? That's the bed bugs. Oh. But that'll last a little while, but it'll go away eventually. Yeah. Looks like she was in a fight, man. Look at D, man. I guess he's falling down the stairs. And bed bugs. Bed bugs. Bed bugs are fucking crazy, though. You know? I've never, like, looked. I think I've slept in places with bed bugs before. In school and stuff, I think. Like, there's no way I've never, like, like like been bitten by a bed bug in my life there's absolutely no way i've slept in some crazy places i'm sure even if i didn't realize it at some point i definitely got bit by a bed bug but i don't remember seeing redness on my skin maybe because i'm of course because i'm black maybe on, a, on white skin it shows like that maybe it shows as a pimple or something the way a mosquito bite would because you kind of get a same with bed bugs man that's a lot of bed bugs our whole face is red like one side is just <laughs> Like she was sleeping on coal, like on fire, and then she woke up and her skin is all burnt off. Man. Oh, I think Papa's got into the juice. Yeah. What? Oh, no. What juice? Is oh, dead, man. he's ice cold. He's, he's dead? Why would he be dead from the juice? We killed Papa? Oh, oh, shit. The juice. Oh, my God. My... I drank oh, a lot of that do? juice. I remember that very clearly. Oh, I got Groban in the park. I got a dead dog. I got Groban in the park. I'm Tiny. What was in the juice? Yeah. Oh, them hiding a body, man. Cool. We're actually looking for Poppins. Poppins is sleeping with the raccoons right now, man. Why are you guys acting so weird? Yeah. What was in that trash bag? Poppins. What? Well, he ate a lot of cold medicine and he croaked. So you threw him in the trash? Yeah, what, what are you <laughs> gonna do? Send him to the moon? <laughs> oh, no. He's fine. What? Hey! I got a feeling he was still alive, though. <laughs> Look at that dog. Who does know? That dog just does not die. No, he does not. Oh. Invincible. He will be back. Yeah, yeah. well... Let's hope not. I think I think every neighborhood in the world has a, a dog or a cat that's kinda like this. Have you seen D? I'm backstage at Groban and the party is pumping. Groban's feeling frisky and somebody's gotta tap that ass. <laughs> you know Artemis is getting freaky, man. Whatever she is, man. I can just you can only imagine, man. I can only imagine. My favorite Artemis line is I got a bleached asshole. I forget who she, she said that to. She said that to, I got a bleached asshole. Did she say it to the soldier? Who did she say that to? That and, uh, shake it. <laughs> shake it from Caesar Road, man. When we first met Artemis, she was like, I forget that line. In the, I don't know, in the city, a girl has just, just has to shake it or something. Shake it. Yeah, man, I love Artemis, man. She just featured on a phone call and I'm already losing my mind. Um, That was a good one, man. That was a good episode, man. Poor D, man. But it's hard to feel sorry for D. Yeah? These people are so horrible. It's hard, like the person I'm, I, I could feel sorry for among these guys is probably Frank. Like I found myself feeling bad for Frank. I felt bad for Frank when Dennis kind of roasted him that one time and told him he's ugly and stuff. I felt bad. Like I legitimately felt bad. I was like, dude, no. <laughs> it kind of annoyed me, legitimately annoyed me, man. I don't know. I, I like Frank. Like it would really bother me if people were fucking bugging Frank. You know, even though he can be a nightmare himself. He's just so lovable, man. And Charlie, Charlie is lovable too because of how dumb he is, you know. But Mark and Dennis and D, I have zero sympathy for them, man. <laughs> I have zero sympathy for them, man. They're the worst. Frank and Charlie are just, they're just different. But Dennis, D, and Mark are malicious, man. Especially D and Dennis. Mark, kinda, you know, because he's, he's like best friends with Dennis, you know. It's usually Mark and Dennis, they live together. So Mark kinda takes the lead 
from Dennis. You know, Dennis kind of controls Mark a lot sometimes. You know. Then you have D. Kind of does her own thing, man. She's so fucking evil, man. <laughs> it's it's impossible to feel bad for D, man. It's impossible. Charlie's mom. There's so much happening there, man. OCD. You know, some racism there. Uh, and just the way she is, her personality. She's so... She's so weird. Considering her age, she just acts like a little child. And it's so... It catches you off guard. You're like, wow. You didn't expect that, you know? Because you expect a, a certain way of being from old people, just adults. Then you meet her and you're like, huh, you're different. Mark's mom, man, burning her house down. That was bound to happen at some point. Probably definitely just fell asleep with a cigarette in her mouth and stuff. How does how do you fall asleep with a cigarette in your mouth, man? At some point you put that shit down and you go to sleep, man. How do you just fall asleep with a cigarette in your mouth? It's insane. That means you just con you always have uh, a cigarette in your mouth. You can't even put it down to go to sleep, man. That is insane, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. You, here, here, mostly when uh when there's a fire or a house house burns down, it's usually kerosene. Someone spilled kerosene, and they went to light a fire, and shit happened that way. Usually, kids kids left alone at home. Messing around with the appliances and fires and stuff like that. That is uh, a common cause of house fires here. And another one is uh, candles. When there are blackouts and people have to rely on candles for light, accidents do happen, especially with kids again. Because uh, it's so easy to just knock over a candle onto a, like a flammable, you know, and it falls on like fabric or papers and shit just catches fire so that's common another common thing is uh markets there's a certain market here in kenya but there's so much controversy when it comes to the fires in this market this market has burned down multiple times in my in my lifetime man there's always something there's always oh a certain this market is burning you know and i'm like really again again you know <laughs> but usually there are rumors that it's orchestrated and it's people trying to get, you know, like uh, there's foul play usually, you know. Usually there's foul play. There's a lot of politics when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I think that explains the fires, but it's just, it just happens so much. It's so weird. Poppins, I'm sure we'll see you again. Probably he'll be back. Poppins will be back. And I will also be back for the next episode. So I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.